Hey everyone, so today I'm going to make a part 1 and a part 2 video about long distance relationships. And, yeah, well, I'm just going to like get onto it. Um, pretty much I was requested to do this video and actually I actually don't mind doing this video because, you know, I'm kind of in the mood. It's gloomy as hell outside and, yeah, I got nothing to do. So I'm just going to make a video to, you know, ask, answer some questions. Because some people have um, similar problems. Um, I am currently in a long distance relationship. Hopefully it won't be a forever thing. I hope that one day I can be like a normal person and be in a relationship with this person to, to an extent where we can see each other every day, live with each other, hang out with each other, do things with each other, you know? But right now I can't. Um, but hopefully someday I can get to that point. But right now I'm in a long distance relationship and um, a lot of my friends I know are in them as well. Um, I think I just repeated myself, but okay. Um, so anyways, when I started dating long distance, I was like 13 years old. Um, and since then, it has been really hard. Like, you know how hard it is to like keep a relationship when you're in one with someone that's like right down the street from you you I, th I argued more with someone that I was with if I lived close to them instead of far away from them I I argued way more than I do with someone that I'm not even like in the same town with but um sorry about that I'm really sorry about that um I noticed like at least three weeks into the relationship that it's getting really hard. I try, I don't say anything, you know? I just feel like if I shut up about it, like, it won't be a problem. Like, we, we, like, he won't think about it, or she won't think about it for guys that are listening. Like, they won't, you know, care. Maybe they're not thinking the same thing I'm thinking. But I don't want the person to think that I was in doubt if I said something. So, um, I didn't. But probably in this video, he'll know this. Sorry about that. But... I never really ever had doubt in a relationship unless the person had doubt um, in ours. Um, so I did get some questions from my friends and one of them which really like could relate to me was like is it really really hard like like do my parents agree to it actually my mom is really concerned about me to be perfectly honest with you she does not like the fact that I date out of my town. She hates the, the gas money. She hates paying for um, certain things. Like, Not yet have she paid for anything, but previous relationships she's had to pay for my boyfriend's um, something. You know, I've paid for a date before. I mean, it happens. Um, but, um, but, like, she doesn't agree to it but she just lets it happen because she knows that I think the only reason she doesn't agree to it because she hates when I get hurt um my mom's always been there for me but like just when she meets the guy she feels really emotional like when I would come home from a date she would get really emotional like are you sure are you sure are you sure like do you sh do you really really want this guy and I'm like I'm pretty sure I want this person and it's gonna last long. But my mom knows my off and on relationships because, like, she's, she meets my boyfriends. Um, I actually love when she does at least take a chance and gives the person I date a chance, you know, to at least meet them, not be rude and just be like, uh, oh, you've got another boyfriend, you're dating out of your town again. But she's like, just wait until you get your car. You'll see, like, the gas problems. Like, my mom is very, very, um, um, cheap, okay? She's, she's cheap. She doesn't like spending money on something she does not have to spend money on. And a lot of parents are that way when they have to take their, um, child out to go see their boyfriend or their girlfriend, you know, go hang out. <laughs> I hate depending on my parents to take me places, but when you think it's really worth it, 
if the person doesn't know how worth it it is to you that they're doing all this to go see you, be with you, love you, then you're not in the right relationship long distance wise. Maybe you're just not with the right person. I have never really felt that way. Um, I don't like being used. Um, after I get dumped, yeah, I've been dumped, um, long distance, um, like, I feel like I was used, you know, I feel like I wasted a lot of money and expenses into going to be with this person that just give, gave up, you know, giving up is like the biggest fear for anybody, you know, even if you're not in a long distance relationship, it's just, it's hard w waking up the next day from, from that experience, like, I've experienced it a lot, and if you've experienced before too, you're like, not alone, there's a lot of people that go through the same thing, um, like, but there are some good things. I'm not going to say all the bad things, you know. There's good advantages to it. Um, every second counts. When you get a chance to talk to the person, like, you know, when you're not able to talk to the person for a while, it'll be probably weeks for some people. Um, <clears throat> sorry, um, it'll be hours, days, weeks, you never know. But, um... It's always hours for me. Um, when I finally get the chance to talk to the person I'm with, um, every second counts to me, but not everybody is the same with that, you know? Some people don't always want to talk, and I get that. Sorry, guys, about my skin psoriasis again. Sorry. But, um, anyways, um, like... Not everybody wants to talk all the time. You get bored of the conversations, you get tired of texting, Skyping, you know, am, um, I aming, um, all that good stuff. <laughs> I mean, not good stuff, but all that stuff. You get tired of it, you know? But the thing that you don't want the person to get tired of is being with you, you know? I mean, in every way, like, every way, I would... I would die to have, to be able to see the person I'm with, like, every day, you know, that's just something I'm not eligible to do, sadly, but for everyone who's in a long-distance relationship, they are having the same, you know, reality, and, you know, trying to find every way you can to be with that person that you love is just really difficult. Um... Mm. I'm trying to think about what else to say, like, like arguments. Arguments are horrible. You, it's like a never-ending thing. It's always gonna occur. Every time I'm in a long-distance relationship, every day or every other day is an argument. I, I'm always the the reason. I'm always the cause. But I never in the, <laughs> I never, I hate arguing because. I feel like they don't understand, you know, they didn't understand where I'm coming from through a text message. Like, all my arguments have always been through text messages, but I feel like the person doesn't understand where I'm coming from when I argue with them through a text message. Um, sorry. Um, <laughs> um, like, I don't think any guy I've ever dated has gotten me long, like, I'm still talking about long distance here. Like, I don't think any guy or, yeah, just anyone who isn't in my town has ever gotten me. Like, it's always been really complicated for relationships with me. And I'm already 16 and I've been dating for, like, four years. I've always da I've been dating guys for four years. My first year was, all was a guy in my school. I've been dating, I dated three guys, three different guys my first year of dating. Um, those didn't work out well at all, and it, the last relationship was my last one, dating someone in my same town, it was the last memory I have of dating someone in my town, but, um, you, you notice how hard it is, it's, you get sad, depressed, I get sad and depressed, like, a lot, and I don't have anyone other than the friends at my school that have the same problems I can relate to. Like, 
I wish I could talk to my mom about it, but then she's like, well, do you realize that you're in a long-distance relationship? That's not my problem. You're gonna have to find a way to go see your boyfriend or, you know, something like that. But, like, every day is a new day, but, um, like, just, I don't know, it gets really hard. I know, I'm pretty much making this video also because I'm, like, really, really sad. I had a really bad morning, and I wasn't feeling well also, so, I don't know, this is probably, like, a rant, but I still kind of wanted to make this, and, and, yeah, but, like, when you, okay, the last thing I want to say in this video is when the person, you know, realizes that it's over, they want to give up, you have no choice but to agree to that because maybe they weren't ready Maybe they're not ready to continue this, um, relationship, you know, town to town. It's really hard, and it costs money to date and love the person you want to be with, but you have to face the facts that it's just not going to happen. You know, it's not possible all the time. It works for some people, but for some people, it will not work out well. You have a 50-50 chance on the relationship you date long distance, and... It's always the same thing for me, but for once, I would really love to have something I can stick ground to, and for everyone, you know, we would love relationships that can last a really long time and just have hope that, um, hope that even though we're far away, it's worth it, it's meant to be, we have a future one day, let it happen, but if you're in doubt, it's... It's just not right. So that's pretty much all I have to say, guys. Um, I'll probably make another video later tonight. I don't really know. I'm just a little moody today, and I kind of wanted to make this. So yeah. Bye. Please rate and subscribe, and I'll probably do a part two of this video. I don't know, but I don't know. Bye.